Stars are not eternal, they are born, live and die just like everything else in the universe. Their life cycle can last millions or even billions of years depending on their mass. Here's how it unfolds, step by step. Everything begins inside a nebula, a giant cloud of gas, mainly hydrogen, and dust in space. Under the force of gravity, the material begins to collapse inward, gradually heating up. When the temperature in the core becomes high enough, a protostar is born. It's still unstable, but it begins to glow faintly. It's on its way to becoming a true star. This is the longest and most stable phase of a star's life, like our sun today. The star fuses hydrogen into helium in its core, releasing enormous amounts of energy, as light and heat. Small stars can remain in this phase for tens of billions of years. Larger stars burn faster. They live shorter lives, but shine more intensely. When the hydrogen in the core runs out, the star becomes unstable. It starts to collapse, then swells enormously, becoming a red giant or a supergiant, depending on its mass. At this point, a star's end depends on its mass. Small, medium stars, like the Sun, expel their outer layers, creating a planetary nebula. The remaining core becomes a white dwarf, which slowly cools over time, Massive stars explode in a supernova, a powerful cosmic event. The collapsed core may become a neutron star or, if massive enough, a black hole. Stars are the beating hearts of the universe. They create light, heat, and the chemical elements that make life possible. Even in death, they set the stage for the birth of new stars. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and discover more curious and amazing content. Don't miss out. Thank you.